when you can control the line of scrimmage on both sides of the ball, stopping the run and running the football, it opens up your entire game. Today, Baltimore rushed for 274 yards, and that allowed them to put themselves in a position just to kind of run the clock out, and then on the other side of the ball, rush the passer against Prescott down. Cowboys did a great job of coming back and getting back into the ball game, but it was too little, too late. You talked about all the rushing yards for the Baltimore Ravens. More than 240 of them and three of their four touchdowns on the day put together by Derrick Henry and the quarterback Lamar Jackson, who are both standing by with Tom Rinaldi. An incredible victory in the end, which looked like it was going to be easily in hand. Derrick Henry alongside. Let me ask you, heading out for that last drive with less than three minutes to go, what was the mindset there? Yeah, coach was saying, get the first down. You get the first down, basically game is over. So that's what I made focus. L did a great job getting north and south. I mean, L is L, so it speaks for itself. So great team win, though. John Harbaugh told me coming out, Lamar, that you gathered the guys, you were the final voice coming out for second half, and your one word was finish, which has been a challenge. What did you learn here in these last three minutes? Man, the game not over until it's 0-0 on the clock. You know, uh, I don't like how things went to go on towards the end. You know, I felt like we should have put more points on the board. We should have just put the gas on the pedal when we was up uh, 28-6. But uh, we got dubbed, and we just going to regroup uh, Tuesday. How much did this group need this win? Uh, we needed it bad, you know, because... I believe some people is on suicide watch. <laughs> so we definitely got the dub. Um, we just got to keep going. Derek, this is what you were brought here to do, to carry the rock and carry the load this way. How did it feel to get this opportunity today? Yeah, you know, we just wanted to uh, establish a run game, be physical on the line of scrimmage, and get runs north to south. You know, we trust and believe in it. All line doing a great job, tight ends blocking, fullback blocking. Everybody's doing their job, and you know, we play as one of them. Everything will work out the way we want it to. I'm glad that you know, it paid off today. Appreciate it, both of you guys. Appreciate it. Great win. Great win, guys. Yeah, I, you know, I, I like these two guys were, were key. You know, they, they, this is the identity of this football team. They control the lines of scrimmage. They ran the football. Lamar, in, in his own way, creative play calling. Derrick Henry, this is why he was brought there. I like the way these two, Mike and I were just talking about it. I like the way these two guys... Two guys handled their business. The 12 penalties again. That's that's been kind of a, that's so uncharacteristic of a, a, a hardball coach team. What up with it, y'all? It's Coffee on the vid. Tapping back in, man. And what an exciting game, man. Week three of this 2024 NFL season. Y'all hear what they were talking about. Ravens outscored 19 to nothing in the fourth quarter, but still pulled off the dub. And that what was so wild about this game. Comment if you were watching it. You know what I'm saying? We see Tom Brady in the booth doing his broadcasting duties. And he kept talking about that uh, Super Bowl comeback. You know, the, the greatest comeback of all time. Although I think, am I bugging? Uh, st statistically, numbers wise isn't the greatest comeback ever. Um, you know, Frank Reich, Buffalo Bills back up in the uh, wild card game against the Houston Oilers. Boy, what were they down? 32 points or something like that? 30, I forget, man. But uh, obviously the Super Bowl comeback is gonna be the greatest because it was for the Super Bowl. But hey, I'm, I'm petty like that, I guess. I don't know, you know what I mean? But it was so crazy the way that Brady kept talking about the mindset that he was in during that comeback. They even showed someone in the stands rocking that shirt, you know, showing uh, the, the the scoreboard, what how much time was left, etc. Uh, you know what I mean? When they pulled off that comeback, I still can't believe the Falcons went out like that, man. You know, Brady was talking about the high tower strip sack, which is what really got things shaking and moving for them to, you know kick off that comeback man but it was so wild watching this game hearing Brady talking about that and seeing the way things were starting to go it's like man is is Brady up there in the broadcast booth is is the energy manifesting itself for the Cowboys to do it and they almost did it man but at the end of the day they couldn't get the job done man Henry two touchdowns um stiff arm still strong He's going to be a, a big weapon with the Ravens, which is what we already knew. You know what I mean? A, a big addition to the team. Um, Lamar Jackson, that 
option or you know the fake and taking it up the gut there to to get that final first down to to um you know put a nail in the Cowboys coffin so to speak you see Jerry Jones sick everyone's sick man to just almost get the comeback but just not quite happen man you know that's uh gotta be a pretty deflating feeling but man I was sitting here watching it all go down and I felt like man let me hop up online and see what everyone else thinks about this if you watch the game if you thought the Cowboys were gonna pull it off if you were thinking the same damn thing like this is wild man Brady's up there talking about the comeback the Cowboys looking like they're gonna do it but uh just falling short man like the way things were going it, it really felt like if they got the ball back one more time it was gonna go their way but almost only only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades and almost piping down someone's wife or girlfriend you know what i mean like even if you fully didn't do it it still hurts just as bad to the to the person in the committed relationship if you did or didn't if you almost did it it's still bad so i guess it counts there as well but what a ball game um 2024 nfl football season thus far has been a pretty exciting one man a lot of a lot of great games have gone down and tomorrow night what up bills mafia we got the big game against the jacksonville jaguars gabe davis over there um who else uh, mitch morse did mitch morse go there as well i believe and um let's not also forget we got to get our get back um you know because of that jet lag loss that we took last year in uh london against the um the jaguars which speaking of that and almost comebacks all my fellow bills mafia bills fans am i bugging back in what year was that 2015 16 or whatever we played then we play a london game over there and uh i think tyrod taylor was hurt and ej manuel played and we came so so close to getting the comeback w and loss man i don't know man but i'm turned up for tomorrow night man um comment on my bills fans what your thoughts about that game everyone your thoughts about this game and just anything else going down in the nfl this year as always you know if you're new to the channel that's what it's all about over here on j coffee talk talking it up with y'all on music news sports current events life and much more so hit the comments sub up let's talk i catch y'all on the next one peace